At Home is a cross-platform project that uses documentary film, social media, and a smartphone game to inspire ordinary people to learn about homelessness and to begin solving it in their own backyards. We were really excited that POV selected our project to participate in this year's hackathon to build a prototype for our smartphone game. I really didn't know what to expect from a hackathon, but I was thrilled when I met our team. My name is Josh Klob, K-L-O-B-E. The uh, role of the hackathon was um, technical implementer. Brandon Ferrant, F-O-R-A-N-T. And I was the graphic designer and uh, user interface designer for the project Hackathon. I just wanted to be able to see the basic core functionality, those actions, played out in real time in public space. Not only were they great people, but they were also talented engineers, coders, designers, and really leaders in the field who could help us create a functioning prototype that demonstrated the core structure of our game. Um, right now we are testing out to see whether or not the code will actually trigger the various locations. After 36 hours of nearly non-stop planning, coding, designing, testing, tweaking, and retweaking, we had built a prototype that we could share with all of you. In a very tangible way. Because homelessness happens in public space, we designed a game that will take you to six places in your neighborhood. First, you'll watch content about homelessness, most of it based on either Mark's interviews or the stories of actual homeless individuals. I've been out here three and a half years now. I've had four heart attacks, I've had eight seizures, I've had brain surgery. At 13 times, I could have uh, checked out and I was denied. And hopefully, I'll get my SSDI, hopefully. Using what you learned from the video, you'll be prompted to answer a question, solve a puzzle, or start a conversation. How vulnerable do you guys think uh, Chet is? It sounded like you had a lot of complications. The Vulnerability Index is a survey that's administered to people who are sleeping outside or in the shelters. It takes about 10 minutes um, and it finds out how long they've been out there, what health conditions they have that are associated in the research with a high mortality risk. It takes homelessness from being this abstract, um, seemingly unsolvable problem to names and pictures and health conditions. Next, you post or tweet something that you just learned from the game about homelessness, sharing it with people in your social network. Once you've shared, you discover a new mission and move on to the next location. Along the way, you'll earn points and rewards. At the end of the game, you'll be able to convert these to real donations that help move homeless people off the streets and into homes. Just the fact that we actually were able to create a full app with all of the core mechanics, plus make a video about what we actually made in 32 hours is quite an amazing feat. Giving that immersive quality um, to an experience, uh, that's, that's unique to me. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't see a lot of things that really try and do that. The POV Hackathon was a success for At Home and a great first step, but we have a lot more to do. We need to build more functionality, and most importantly, craft a narrative for the game that will entertain, educate, and move players to take action on homelessness. She had no heart so hard.